All right, guys, today I have a question. Do any of you ever get a, like an idea in your head where you want a specific something made? Like, uh, I don't know, some random crazy gun, like a, I've had Encore barrels built, like a 12 inch 4570, that kind of stuff. I get those ideas all the time. And sometimes I can find a way to get those things built. And sometimes I just, can't figure out uh, where to get the, the gun made or the barrel or parts ordered from and, and whatnot. So uh, a while back um, I had an idea to build a 338 Spectre bolt action rifle. And for those of you who know, uh, it's primarily 338 Spectre is kind of a, I don't know if it's considered a wildcat or what, but it's 10 millimeter Magnum brass. Uh, neck down to 338 and it's kind of like a, a big 300 blackout or a 300 blackout that uses bigger bullets I really wanted to get a 338 Spectre bolt action rifle built and I wanted it to take magazines uh, you know specifically the AR mags, the same AR mags I use in my 338 Spectre SBR. And uh, so I started to look on the internet, like where can I get a 338 bolt action barrel or a rifle for sale? So I started looking on the computer, just on the internet to see uh, where I can order a 338 Spectre bolt action barrel, like for a Remington 700 or or maybe a Savage or, or something. I got to, to searching and couldn't really find anything. So I went to Google, the 338 Spectre bolt action. Bolt action, bolt action rifle, bolt action rifle for sale. And I get a whole lot of nothing. Um, I've came across uh, Savage Shooters. Somebody wants the reamer or barrel. Can't find it. Uh, another one on Savage Shooters uh, forums. Can't find a barrel or a reamer. Uh, the 68 forums. No one can find a barrel or a reamer. And I just kind of figured I was out of luck with this one. Uh, where else can you go? I'll check a gun broker. And search for 338 Spectre. Bolt action rifle. Zero results. So I'd kind of pretty much uh, given up on that uh, uh, hope to get that 338 Spectre bolt gun uh, built. Uh, and it wasn't until uh, I got uh, uh, one of the comments on one of my uh, YouTube videos of the 338 Spectre where I think I was loading and shooting some ammo. Uh, I got a comment from a uh, user Duffy's Gunsmithing where he uh, asked me to email him and and we went back and forth on some 338 Spectre loads and uh, he had mentioned that he had some Remington I think he had two Remington 700 barrels that uh, were chambered for uh, 338 Spectre and he said he was gonna build one for him in a Mossberg MVP uh, and so he was just gonna uh, use those Remington 700 barrels uh, turn them down and, and re-thread them for the Mossberg threads and he asked if I was interested in getting one and uh, and uh, at first I wasn't you know totally sure because I didn't really know who he was and stuff uh, but I looked up uh, you know his shop on the internet and it was legit and good reviews and stuff and uh, so he went ahead and built his and then he uh, t uh, emailed me some pictures of it 
and uh, when I saw his pictures, I was like, hey, I, I got to have one of those, so uh, go ahead and uh, uh, sign me up to uh, have one of those built, and so I ended up trading one of my handguns for a Mossberg MVP and uh, shipped it over to him, and, and he went to work uh, building it, and he, I asked him if he could uh, take a little bit of pictures or video uh, and share it with me so I could include it in the video. So here's, here's uh, some of my gun being built. You can see the rifle. Duffy's gunsmithing did a great job on this rifle. Uh, John from uh, Duffy's Gun Room, uh, YouTube user Duffy's Gunsmithing, he built this rifle and uh, did an excellent job. So I'll go over this gun, kind of going from this, the muzzle side to the back. I wanted a, a thicker barrel and so I didn't go full bull, uh, full bull uh, barrel, but uh, a really heavy tapered uh, barrel profile. And you can see it came with this nice heavy duty thread protector. So I had the barrel threaded 5 8 by 24 so I could easily mount my Liberty Mystic X. 9 millimeter suppressor, which is strong enough to handle the subs and supers of this rifle. As far as the color goes, the John from Duffy's, he, get, he gave me a call and he asked what color I wanted the Cerakote job to be for the barrel and the action. And I told him I didn't really, I wasn't very particular on color. I'm not a super picky guy when it comes to colors. And so I told him to, uh, use his best judgment or get creative get creative or whatever and just throw something together that looked good and so he came up with this mix of uh, I think it's a couple colors it's came out looking like a olive green um, a lighter olive green looks really good the bipod I have on here is just a it's just a Harris bipod uh, I switch my bipods from all my bolt action rifles whenever I use them so that'll be on there when I use it and on a different gun when I use that. For the scope, I went with a Vortex Viper PST in a two and a half to 10 by 32. Uh, this scope was previously on my uh, 300 Blackout 16 inch barrel uh, AR-15 and I haven't really shot that gun much so I figured I'd steal it for this gun which 
felt more appropriate. Uh, I also went with the uh, Vortex uh, preci precision match uh, rings because I had a set that weren't mounted or used yet, so I figured why not. And uh, for the uh, scope mount or base, uh, I went with the EGW. Uh, I really like their bases. They, they seem like they're very well made. And uh, magazine, I just got a bunch of the AR 6.8 SPC mags. As far as the stock, this is the stock that uh, came with the rifle. Okay, real quick for the, the bolt. Um, he did a, a Cerakote job on this too. It looks really, really good. The donor rifle was a 223 um, bolt action. For the bolt face, uh, he had to open it up slightly. Um, he opened that up a little bit and then modified the, uh, the feed ramp to uh, better feed these 338 bullets. I will definitely be hitting up John for some future projects I have in mind. Maybe a 458 SOCOM bolt action rifle. Um, I think sooner than that I want to do a 20 practical rifle, something opposite of what I usually do. Usually I do big and slow. This time uh, I'm looking for something small and fast. So uh, a little custom uh, 20 practical would be uh, a cool rifle to, to have him build me next. So anyways, here's the rifle. Uh, it's, a, it's really a work of art uh, in my opinion. I really love this gun and uh, look forward to shooting a bunch of stuff with it.